Nathan Pritikin. I love this quote. All I'm trying to do is wipe out heart disease, diabetes, hypertension, and obesity. That's it. Nah, nothing more than that. Nathan Pritikin's story, many of you may have heard his name, but may not be as familiar with his story. He said, he, you know, he developed chest pain, angina, uh, coronary disease, and he knew the studies, the monkey and the rabbit thing, and cultures out in the middle of rural uh, Africa and China who ate plant-based, ate active. They didn't develop heart disease. So he started the Pritikin program. And what he did was he said, hey, let's eat plant-based, let's do this. And he showed clinically you could reverse heart disease. And he had guts. He said, when I die, I want my autopsy to be published in the New England Journal of Medicine. And he had pre-existing leukemia before he changed. He died of leukemia. And his autopsy showed the near absence of atherosclerosis. And the pathologist commented that it's complete absence of its effects, meaning no heart attack, stroke, or any vascular occlusion, was absolutely remarkable in somebody who had been diagnosed with heart disease. However, he was following his program for many, many years, right? It takes decades to develop the plaque. It's going to take decades to make it all go away. And so Dean Ornish is one of the founding fathers of the whole concept of lifestyle medicine and heart disease reversal, published a lifestyle heart trial 1990, showing that people who followed whole food plant-based and other lifestyle changes had their blockages regress. They said that in after one year, the blockages, the average 61% went down to 56% in one year. That's crazy. And that is without using cholesterol medicines, right? Uh, and so he basically concluded that comprehensive lifestyle changes may be able to bring about regression of even severe clogging of the arteries after one year without medications. Followed it up with a five-year study where they did angiograms again. This is an invasive procedure, so probably never be done again. They did angiograms, and after five years, there was even more regression of atherosclerosis in five years. And then the control group who did not follow this program, the clogging progressed and got worse. What's even more bonkers is we can see within just weeks of changing the diet, not only do we experience that the patient's uh, chest pain frequently resolves, but we see this in our testing. On the left side is a, is a nuclear perfusion scan where you put a, a tracer in the person, it gets taken up by the heart and you see the blood flow. In the upper left is before treatment. There was no blood flow getting to that, to that segment of the heart, just changing diet. What happens? Boom, it fills in, the blood flow improves. No stent was put in, no bypass was done. Just the diet was changed and the blood flow dramatically improved after just three weeks. And then on the right is one that Dr. Esselstyn loves to show of a patient who had a severe, we would call this a ratty, diffuse, left anterior descending widow maker, uh, stenosis. And with just diet changes, just diet changes, it reversed itself. Uh, and this was uh, the next angiogram was done 32 months later. That just happened to be when it was, uh, he had recurrent chest pain and they checked him again. So crazy powerful. And this has kind of resulted in the guidelines, the primary prevention guidelines from the American College of Cardiology, really just saying straight out, plant-based diets are the preferred dietary approach. So if anybody ever says, what about this diet? What about that diet? Blah, blah, blah. Just say, listen, heart disease is the number one killer. The American College of Cardiology, the American Heart Association guidelines for the prevention of heart disease recommend plant-based diets. They say pro-vegetarian Mediterranean style diets. Mediterranean is not enough to prevent heart disease. You need to make it a almost complete vegetarian Mediterranean style diet. And of course, the closer to hundred percent you get, the better you're going to be. Somebody who inspired me dramatically. And I worked with them at Rush for a few years, didn't get some of the programs done that we wanted to do, which made me move out more to the California area where I'm doing a lot of other lifestyle medicine things, was Dr. Kim Williams. I wanted to share a couple of his quotes because I just think they are so powerful. And it's important for, for people to know. He basically said straight out, a whole food plant-based diet is a cure for heart disease. If you're a cardiologist and you don't tell your patient about the cure for their disease, that is medical malpractice because you are actively withholding a cure from your patient. And you cannot do that. You cannot withhold a cure from your patient. And then of course, his other famous statement, uh, which you probably heard over and over again, is that there are two types of cardiologists, vegans and those who have not yet read the data. And the reason he said that is because most cardiologists don't read the nutrition data. They read the data on medications and stents and bypasses and all those diagnostic tests. 
but they don't emphasize nutrition. The nutrition data is not published in the cardiology journals. It needs to be in front of everybody. And there's really, once you read it, there's no going back. It is so powerful that this is what we need to be doing. And we did take this Hippocratic oath, right? First, do no harm. That's what doctors took. The Hippocrates said, let the food be thy medicine and let the medicine be thy food. Well, we are doing harm if we're not actively spreading this message of a healthy lifestyle and plant-based nutrition as the primary treatment for all these lifestyle-related disorders. So I always say that the one thing that you can get out of this, that you can understand, is that you individually have the power to save other people's lives, which is awesome, right? Even if you're not a doctor or nurse in the healthcare field, with this knowledge that you have, you can save people's lives. Yeah, focus on your own on your own health. You need to be healthy yourself to be able to be an advocate for a healthy lifestyle. But remember, you are the change. Speak up, demand the change. Politicians are just going to support where the money is unless people speak up. So be a good example. Spread the word. You have the power to save other people's lives. And I do think together with conferences like this, with more and more doctors getting board certified in lifestyle medicine, with social media, these great documentaries that are coming out, the Game Changers, Forks Over Knives, What the Health, all these different things. We are going to make that change. We just need to never give up and keep going because change takes time and it sucks that change takes time, but it does. And we need to push it forward as fast as we possibly can. Mm -hmm.